Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, April 26th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I value the dream amidst the mundane. And when I looked at today's astro, two songs came through. One was merrily 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 life is but a dream and the other was a song that probably none of you will know um my siblings are all older than me and when i was very very little they listened to this bland band called blotto it was a kind of i think a local new york band i don't know i don't know the details the song was too much fun um and those are just the lyrics that played too much fun over and over and that's that's the astro for today. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream and too much fun. So today we don't have any major aspects, kind of a chiller kind of day. What we do have is the sun in Taurus and moon in Sagittarius. And that's an interesting combination because those two signs together can have too much fun. <laughs> those two signs can get into the life of the party kind of action. Um, Taurus is, you know, good food, good drinks, good life. Taurus wants that. And Sagittarius is like, I'm on board. Let's do it even bigger. So the combination can be big in that way. Um, that being said, there are a few things going on. It feels like things are moving on. Uh, Mercury's already getting some mojo and moving away from the North Node. So Mercury will be at 16 degrees today. We've got Jupiter also moving on. So Uranus is hanging out at 22, but Jupiter's already moved to 23. So both of those things are like, all right, got to get moving to, to the next, to the next energies. Um, for the next month, this is when Jupiter will be finishing up in Taurus. And so this is a really great time to tap into lessons of value, um, enjoying the earth experience. Again, merrily, 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 life is about to dream. <laughs> um, seeing if you can play with expanding, uh, expanding your experience of your personal value. Jupiter can help you with all of this. And literally, it's a month from today that Jupiter will be moving into Gemini. So, good month to play with this energy. The other thing that I noticed as I was looking at the chart is we have Lilith back in Libra. And so, we're healing layers of people-pleasing through antiquity is what I'm hearing. Um, healing those layers where we felt like we couldn't be ourselves, where we felt like we had to be a people pleaser. And I think we have a lot of those at play still today. Um, and so as Lilith moves in and out of Libra, it's a really good time to face those people pleasing layers and see who are you really underneath those layers. And of course, there may be between the layers of the people pleasing and who you really are, there may be some wounding uh, to look at. But I think that's it as I look at these astro energies. Oh, one more thing. Mars and Neptune are building into a conjunction. And that is a very interesting conjunction. Um, that is going to be happening on Sunday. <sighs> that definitely ties into the merrily, 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 merrily life is but a dream energy. Um, <laughs> but in that, watch if you are being goaded by the illusion, being pushed by the illusion, moving via the illusion, or if you're moving, well, this is really interesting. So I just got home, uh, from preparing for, we have a community yard sale. So I was preparing for that. I just got home and driving. Oh my gosh, it's so foggy. We have some crazy things happening here. Um, so just got an interesting text message that distracted me, but it was like driving through the fog. I had to like drive by heart, <laughs> drive by intuition. And this energy may kind of feel similar. So watch for that this weekend. Don't be led by the illusion. Be led by and through your heart. So cards, these two 
feel very appropriate together. The dream or daydreaming, laziness, so more daydream energy, more putting it out there, but also some exhaustion. So I would say try to take it easy. Don't go overboard in the partying. And in the taking it easy, we've got some healing. It's interesting because there's definitely some water cards in here. We've got some water themes. So there may be some, you know, the moon in Sagittarius isn't the most emotional. There may be some emotional processing coming up. And especially if you're feeling that exhaustion, pay attention. Four water cards, actually. Here we go. The dream, six of cups. Laziness, Nine of Cups, these are good water cups, or water cards. Healing, um, King of Cups, and the Understanding. I forget if this is the Page or the Knight of Cups. I think this is the Knight of Cups. Um, so you might be feeling a little led by our emotions, but there's definitely some healing energy. Watch this exhaustion energy, though. Don't overdo. Try not to overdo. Try to, like, float down the river this weekend. That's it for today. <laughs> you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are. Namaste.